Hey, I'm Dr. Mike Grissell. Welcome to the Sleep to Perform series sponsored by Technogel. In today's video, we're going to talk about sleep and weight loss. So oftentimes when people talk about weight loss, sleep is not something that generally gets brought up. But more and more research is showing the negative effects of not enough sleep on gaining weight and impairing your ability to lose weight. And so this comes in basically three different ways as why scientists think this is happening. The first has to do with hormones. So lack of sleep has negative impacts on specific hormones that make it a lot harder for you to lose weight and make you hunger. We'll talk about specifically about those in a minute. Also with sleep, some people just think that you're up more. So when you're not getting as much sleep, if you're only getting four or five hours sleep, so you're gonna be up 19 or uh, 20 hours, and that's a lot more time when you can eat. So being up longer, giving you more opportunities to eat, especially late at night, when your reward-driven hunger, which is things like sugar and, and salty and sweetened snacks, those are more appealing to you. So being up later and more often is gonna give you greater opportunities to eat. But I think the biggest thing comes with hormones. So specifically when you look at hormones, there are two main hormones in play. The first one is ghrelin. So ghrelin is a hunger hormone, and so higher levels of ghrelin are gonna make you more hungry. Um, so with decreased sleep, let's say you usually get eight hours of sleep, and then one night you get five or four, four or five hours of sleep. What's gonna happen is you're gonna get an increase in your ghrelin. You also get increases in ghrelin when you cut calories. That's why when you first go on a diet and cut calories that you're gonna be really hungry. So, ghrelin is the hunger hormone, and not enough sleep, you're going to get increases in ghrelin. Now, this was showed, there was really one interesting study that showed when people went from, say, 8 hours of sleep to 4 or 5 hours of sleep, the next day they saw a 22% increase in the amount of calories they're eating. So, this translated to about 570 calories. That's a lot of calories, especially considering if you run a mile, you're maybe going to burn 100 calories. So, that's the equivalent of running 5 or 6 miles that day to burn off those extra calories from not getting enough sleep. The other hormone that's impacted with sleep is leptin. So leptin is a really interesting hormone. Leptin is released from your fat cells and it travels up to your brain and it impacts and regulates your appetite and how much you're eating. Research also shows that just after one night of not enough sleep, so say you get usually or seven or eight hours of sleep and then you go one night and get four or five hours of sleep, that you can see significant changes, negative changes in leptin. So, we're really looking at, when you're looking at sleep and its effects on weight loss, these are things that happen over, you know, not just the short term, but also the long term. One or two bad nights of sleep can really negatively impact these hormones that are going to regulate hunger. One other interesting compound, which is a cytokine, which isn't really a hormone, but it has, you know, similar actions, is called IL-6. And you're not going to hear much about this, but one of the interesting things about IL-6 is that after one or two nights of not getting enough sleep, you get negative changes in IL-6, which is a cytokine, that can negatively impact your immune function. So we're looking at, with sleep deprivation, negative effects also on fat loss hormones, but then also on your immune system. So in the next couple of videos, we're going to look at also performance as well, and we'll see the negative impacts on performance from both a mental function standpoint, but then also an athletic performance standpoint. But that's going to wrap up this video on sleep and the effects of sleep on weight loss. So you want to remember, shoot to get seven to nine hours sleep. Everybody's different the amount of sleep that they need and the amount of overall stress, as we talked about in the stages of sleep video, the overall stress in your life. So if you're training really hard or if you're working longer hours, those are going to have greater demands on your body. So you're going to need to go higher on the higher of the nine end. But if you're more relaxed and you don't have as much stress in your life, you can probably get away closer to the seven end. But if you're trying to lose weight or having trouble maintaining your weight, definitely look at your sleep because it's a very overlooked area uh, for maximizing the impact of whatever you're doing with your diet and exercise for weight loss. So that's going to wrap it up for this video of the Sleep to Perform series. Uh, I'm Dr. Mike Grissell. Make sure you check out more of the videos uh, here on the YouTube channel and also at microcell.com. And thanks again to our sponsors, Technogel.